graduate of MIT. Impressive. Thank you. It was a tough three years. They taught you the usuals? Blender, Maya, 3DS? Yes, as well as classes in animation, uh, rigging, texture mapping, dynamic lighting, and all of the kindergarten stuff like Photoshop and After Effects. And out of those softwares, which ones would you say that you know backwards and forwards? All of them. Any job is basically within your reach, especially at institutions more prestigious. Why not apply elsewhere? I actually have applied to several other positions. And? Still waiting to hear back. Let's just get right into it. Your last job. We looked into it a bit. Look, whatever you heard, I, uh... I don't care. I don't care what happened in the past. You seem more than qualified for the work that we have. Before we begin, I need to know that nothing will leave this room. You have a knack for fooling the eye, Miss Killian. Would you like a job that would put your skills to the test? I would like any opportunity you could offer. We'll give you a test run tonight. I must tell you though, what we do here is not always by the books. Is that okay? Let's begin. Precisely 45 minutes after we finish this conversation, a secure laptop will be delivered to your door. Make sure you are alone. Complete the directions and send it to the Dropbox provided. If done correctly, payment will be delivered to you. If done well, more work will be on its way. The only thing I ask is this. No questions. Oh, fucking end me. How was today? Well, pretty terrible. And these bills, just the icing on top. Hey, you remember that professor that I was telling you about? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well today he decided to pull a term paper out of his ass because it wasn't in the syllabus. Seriously? Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. I'm sorry, babe. Eh, don't be. How was your day? Oh shit, how was that interview? I think I got it. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Scooby-Doo Marathon, pizza and wine on me tonight. You sure? We could just eat leftovers. Oh, don't be ridiculous. This is a celebration. Is that new? 
Yeah, mine broke, so I exchanged it for a new one. Cost about 50 bucks. And spill coffee on it again. No. Mm. It could have been tea, you never know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna call Dante's. Maybe that delivery guy will throw in a free order of breadsticks again. We'll get lucky. Mm -hmm. I got it, go order your food. Five minutes, but we all know it'll be more like an hour twenty. What was it? Uh, penny savers. Nothing interesting. So? So? Don't show me how to go. It went great. They really liked me. That's awesome. I'm sorry that I really didn't have more info for you. My buddy just did me a favor by passing your resume along. What kind of stuff they got you doing? Nothing too exciting. I doubt that. You are probably working on the next Marvel movie and just want to keep all the fame and glory to yourself, right? <laughs> no. I wish, but no. Okay, okay. You know, you just remember the little people who helped you study for eight semesters. I'll be sure to pass your name on to the company I don't work for. That's all I want. Hey, I'm proud of you. I wish I could have helped you more with this job, sir. Stop. You got me this job. Yeah, and they have you motion tracking. It sounds super exciting. It's the most exciting thing that's happened in months. <laughs> it's my boss. Well, go ahead. You gotta impress him, I understand. Hello? So, Miss Gillian, how much do you want to work? As much as you need me to. I'm telling you, it's true. <laughs> that never happened. I would have remembered. <laughs> Sophomore year, okay? It was a storm of the October storm evening. Storm of the... Did you say that? <laughs> <laughs> storm of the is my new favorite <laughs> Yes, this is she. Who is this? What? Yes. Of course. I'll be right there. Everything okay? I just... No, um... Uh, I gotta go. I'm, I'm sorry. What? Do you, do you need me to... No, no. I'll call you later. Okay. Danny! Oh boy, here we go. Oh, gentle, gentle. What's going on? Are you. Danny. 
It's just some scrapes and bruises here and there. And they said something about a concussion, but whatever. Jesus, Danny. Eva, I've got to go. I've got to pull an all-nighter again tonight. What? It's fine. People get mugged all the time. I'm okay. Although the bastard did make off with my bag, which had both my computer and my term paper in it, so my life is basically over now. Danny, you're ridiculous. I'm so glad you're safe. Pardon me, miss, but we need a little more information. Uh, anything else you can give us? Um, like I said, it was dark. I mean, it was really kind of hard to see him when he was pushing me to the ground, you know? Are there any specific details you could give us? Uh, glasses, hair color, tattoos? Uh, oh, he did have a tattoo of a feather on his arm. A feather? Yeah, I know. Super tacky, but it was all I noticed, so. I'll be right back. Ava? Yes, Miss Killian? I'm done. I quit. Okay. Come on. You gotta help me out a little bit. I'm helping. Shut up. <laughs> You're so strong. <laughs> and cute. You're like Daphne to my Velma. Thanks, but I don't think Daphne and Velma ever slept together. Uh, they should have. Daphne's hot. <laughs> I love you so much. I love you too. I gotta tell you something. Danny, I... Hello? I think you should highly consider the repercussions of what you're about to say, Miss Killian. What? you to do anything foolish. What are you talking about? Don't insult my intelligence. You understand exactly what I am saying. I'm out. You don't have me anymore. We had an agreement. I suggest you hold to that, or Sleeping Beauty might not wake up. There's a car waiting for you outside. I suggest you get in it. still sleeps, I see. Fuck you. Easy. Let's keep things civil, shall we? Civil? You had a bullet pointed at my girlfriend's head, you son of a bitch. And if my order still stands, that bullet never left its chamber. Now let's talk about your less than two weeks notice that you put in tonight. You said it was okay. I think there is more to be discussed before you decide to become unemployed again. You have to understand that what you are doing has a greater impact than one can imagine. What? 
letting criminals run free, putting the lives of innocent people in danger? Pieces have to be moved in certain locations, Miss Killian. Some go free, some don't. Pawns will always be a necessary sacrifice. My family are not one of your pawns. Correct. They aren't even part of the game. Why are you doing this? People have a tendency to believe there's only chaos and order. Criminal is sent to jail. Order. Criminal goes free. Chaos. There is no such thing. There is only the greater plan. I learned a long time ago that sometimes you have to make that plan yourself. What plan? Kingdoms fell by arrows. Nations fell by bullets. This world will fall by data. Fuck your plan. Let me assure you, Miss Killian. One tiny snap of my fingers and Danny will scream your name in agony. Don't you fucking touch me! Still don't trust me, huh? Law school's hard enough without stolen term papers. I'm not gonna force you to work for me. If you wanna leave, leave. But we both know you're not going to. Why me? Only savages prey on the weak. But without savages, there is no evolution. We are not savages, Miss Killian. No matter how much you want us to be. Ava, where have you been? I don't want to talk. Are you okay? Did you? No. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. What is going on? Please, talk to me. Do I need to take you to a doctor? No. Stop talking, please. Not until you tell me what's going on. You've been doing so well lately. What happened? Nothing happened. Then where have you been? You have class soon. You should go. You don't want to be late. I don't care about class. I care about you. Well, don't. Ava. Talk to me. Please leave me alone. I'm not going leave to- Leave me alone! There's something wrong with Ava. What? There's something wrong with her. But I know she talks to you more than me, so just tell me what's going on. There's nothing wrong with her. <laughs> Look, we 
just got into a huge fight, and I don't know why. I mean, she must have said something to you. This couldn't have just come out of nowhere. All I know is she just got a new job. That's it. Can't you just be proud of her? Seriously? You, you think I'm not proud of her? I've been there for her this entire time, but now she's acting different, and it's scaring me. I think she had an episode last night, but she won't tell me a goddamn thing. I've never seen her happier. Oh, this is ridiculous. She's in trouble, and we need to help her, so just tell me what you know! Danny, calm down, okay? She has not had an attack in almost a year. You don't give her enough credit. She's a strong girl, okay? No anxiety lately or anything. The worst I've seen her is when she found out about you. What do you mean? She was horrified. She literally could not have left this place fast enough. She loves you, Danny. Stop giving her reasons not to. It's fine. I... Just... Just be patient with her. You know what she's been through. You okay? I'm fine. I... Thanks. What's next?